Hello, welcome again. This is Elder Nunes. Um, I would like to talk about the finance functions using SAS. Um, documentation we can find it in Google, so finance functions in SAS, and then we get the information from documentation.sas.com. It's a finance function in SAS Help Center. We got uh, this paper of 1,000, nearly 1,200 pages with SAS via 3.1, and then page 478 we have all these finance functions. Uh, information right so first of all is to sign up to get to to have SAS we, ju we just need to sign up in academics or SAS on demand in academic using SAS it's, it's just www.sas.com and then that's try SAS for free and then you register as a student or we register to download the documentation and information and so on okay glossary of variables uh, we're going to speak about the internal rate of return of a series of cash flows also the net present value, present value, future value, the payment, which is the capital and interest, which is the credit the frequent payment of a loan, and the PPNT, which is only the principal, the capital part of the each period of time, the number of periodic payment, which is the number of the, the time, the loan length, which is 60 months or five years or whatever, the rate, which is the interest rate of period of annuity, and the effective, effective annual interest rate. So, uh, first of all, we're going to calculate the net present value of an investment, the internal rate of return as a second part, the present value of a loan at time zero, the future value of a loan at time equals to n, what is the annual interest rate of a loan or monthly, whatever we want to calculate, what is the effective annual interest rate, uh, the also to calculate the regular monthly payments of a loan, which is capital plus interest rate, capital plus interest and then the principal payment amount which is only the capital and the number of periodic payments we have to pay right first calculating the net present value of an investment so supposing we are investing 40,000 pounds at time zero to get for a business or an investment then then we receive the first year 5,000 pounds then the second year is money in which is positive and this is money out this is like an investment we're paying we're pocketing out money so for the first year is five thousand pounds second year eight thousand pounds third year twelve thousand pounds thirty thousand pounds in the year number four and then we just need to discount all this cash flow to the present value right and by using SAS. so the interest rate is eight percent and we would like to know what is the net present value of this investment so in SAS, we just uh, need to to see here. Uh, right. So data NPD send column then rate is equals to eight percent. Investment is forty thousand pounds, and then the cash flows one year, the second year, the third year, and the fourth year. And the net present value is equal to finance. And then also, if we want to know about the definition of, of, of this uh, syntax of, of this finance, the syntax help, and then we have uh, the product documentation samples and papers to this. So it's open brackets, soft brackets, uh, single quotation, NPV, which is the value we want to estimate, and then the rate, the cash flow, one, two, three, and four and then plus the investment if you were to do it manually by ourselves so it's the cash flow one the first year divided by one plus the, the interest rate to the power of one year so this two stars equals two is is, is the power the cash flow number two is two years back to the present the cash flow number three and so so on so forth and then plus the investment on time zero so we just select this script and then run it and then we have the NPV value here, 3,000 pounds, right? So if we want also to, to know the same investment, we're pay, pocketing out money for the present value of 40,000 pounds. We want to know the internal rate of return. We just do the same. Uh, so the ER, IRR, so the V1 is equals to 40,000 pounds. The that's the pocketing money out at the, at the time zero initial investment. Um, then we receive 5,000 pounds, 8,000, 12, and 30,000 pounds in the year number five. And then the internal rate of return is equals to the finance of IRR 
and then v1 2 3 4 and 5 we just run this bit and then we got the interest rate which is internal rate of 10.58 percent number three so number three is computing the present value of a loan so we're supposing we have a, a loan that we're paying monthly 200 pounds that's payment capital plus interest rate for five years monthly so it's 60 periodic monthly payments at the end we don't we don't have to pay anything so at the end we finish the loan um the interest rate for this loan is six percent we want to know how much is the loan value right So then data PV, semicolon, and then rate is 6.6% annual. So divided by 12 to get the, 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 the pay, the, the present value to get the, the monthly uh, equivalent. And the number of periods, 60 month, payment is 200 pounds, the future value is zero. Then present value, the finance of PV, then the rate, the NPER, which is the variable we have, the payments, and the future value. We just run it. And that's it. Well, so we got the present value, which is the loan amount, 10,345. If we want to calculate the future value of a loan, which is exactly the same, right? We're paying 200 pounds, then the present value, and then we estimate the future value. So this is the example in here. So we're paying 200 pounds. At the end, we're, we want to know how much do we have to pay at, at the end, right? For a loan of 10,000 pounds, we had an interest rate of 6% just click on this uh, bit and then run it and then this is the 465 is the last payment we have to pay at the at the end among number 60 right if we want to to know the annual interest rate for this loan so we have we know that this 12 month time 5 which is six, six, uh, 60 monthly payments of 200 pounds a month and this is the loan amount we are not, not paying anything at the end. We want to know the rate, right? Which is rate equal finance. And this is the, the variable we want to estimate. And then NPER, payment, PV, and future value. And this is multiplied by 12 to get the, the, the interest rate monthly. So we just run it and this is 7.42% is, is the interest rate, right? Also, we want to know about the effective annual interest rate so the rate is six percent and then the number of periods is for a year is 12 so we want to know monthly so the effective is finance to the effect of this rate and the number of period and this is also a, 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 another f way of calculating which is effect equals to one plus the rate divided by npr to the power of npr minus one we just run this bit and then we got the defective interest rate which is 6.17 percent if we want to estimate exactly the same but monthly is just divided this by 12 so this is 60 uh, 60 month and this is the effective so i run in it that's the effective interest rate monthly right um if we want to calculate the payments the monthly payment for this loan so this is uh we want to know this bit the monthly payments which is capital plus interest rate sorry capital plus interest and um, for a loan of ten thousand pounds with that interest rate of six percent this is 60 month Future value is zero. How much is the payments for every for every month? So got here to rate equals to six percent divided by twelve to get the monthly. The number of period of time is five years monthly payments. So it's 60, 60 monthly payments. The present value, which is the loan amount, is ten thousand pounds. Future value is zero. The payments is equals to finance. That's the variable we want to estimate. Then we run this selection. And that's the payment, 193 pounds a month we are paying. If we want to calculate the principal payments amounts, which is only the capital, so we do a loop. We want to, to know, for example, the capital. So 
uh, data PPMT to period from 1 to 60 and then, then this is the rate monthly 6% divided by 12 so it's 60 month the loan amount is 10,000 pounds the future value is 0 and then PPMT is equal to finance of PPMT and then the rate divided by we have the rate uh, period right the NPER the present value the future value you just run this selection and then we have the payments of capital we're doing for every month to the end of the loan in at the year number five uh, if we want to compute the number of periodic payments uh, this is uh, this example um, so we're paying 200 pounds a month capital plus interest we're not paying at the end anything and the interest rate is six percent and the present value is ten thousand pounds we want to know how, what is the long length for 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 this for this uh, product right so exactly the same so it's NPER and then the rate is six percent divided by twelve then we're paying two hundred pounds a month for a loan of ten thousand pounds we are not paying no, nothing at the end so NPER is equals to finance to NPER and then the rate the payments the present value and the future value we just run this selection and then that's it so we got the number of periodic number of payments so it's like 58 a month assuming we're not paying anything at the end right so uh this is thank to valentin nostrand that is bringing a very very good training in using sas and also and also python uh, he's a very professional and very well experienced data, data scientist and this is his web page um, northstrand.uk so that's the learn python the way you work in sas and yeah so in chapter chapter 4 is calculations and function in chapter 4.5 and then we got uh, functions in finance calculation right so thank you so much for watching me and see you next time cheers thank you bye bye